Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're tackling a crucial yet often overlooked issue in reproductive health, the potential risks of HPV transmission during the IVF egg donation process. We're going to explore studies that shed light on the presence of HPV in ovaries, where the eggs are situated, and what this could mean for IVF procedures. We'll also discuss the specific concerns about the process of egg retrieval and how even the smallest amount of HPV can lead to transmission. This video aims to provide a comprehensive overview, backed by scientific research, to help you understand this issue. Let's get started. The most common doctor's argument is, there is no documented cases of transmission, therefore there is no risk. The doctor's assertion relies on the absence of evidence, no cases, as proof of safety. However, Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because there are no documented cases, it does not necessarily mean that the event, HPV transmission via donor eggs, cannot or does not occur. HPV is a very, very common virus, and the majority of cases are asymptomatic. This makes it impossible to establish clear transmission pathways. Without robust and routine testing, it's challenging to trace the source of infection, especially in asymptomatic cases. If HPV testing is not standard practice in egg donation processes, there would be no data to report such transmissions, right? The lack of data might reflect the lack of testing rather than the impossibility of transmission. That is why to understand whether the risk exists or not, we have to take into account much, much more data. First, the meta-analysis revealing the presence of HPV in ovarian tissues where eggs are harvested, challenges the assumption that HPV cannot be transmitted via donor eggs. This study, which analyzed data from 29 studies involving 2,280 patients with ovarian cancer, found a prevalence of HPV in ovarian cancer cases to be 15.9%. In the ovarian follicles where eggs develop, there is typically a barrier separating the egg from the surrounding ovarian tissue. However, during the process of egg retrieval in IVF, this barrier is disrupted. If HPV is present in the surrounding ovarian tissue, it could come into contact with the egg's surface. So the presence of HPV in ovarian tissues indicates a transmission potential that has not been adequately explored in egg donation processes, especially taking into account HPV's remarkable infectivity. Research published in The Lancet has shown that HPV can be transmitted through a chain of contact across seven surfaces, which means even one millionth of the initial virus amount can be sufficient for infection. This means that even the smallest exposure, such as what might occur if HPV is present on the surface of an egg, could pose a significant risk of transmission. Additionally to HPV in ovaries, we have needle transmission concern. In IVF, the egg retrieval process involves using a needle that passes through the vaginal wall, which might be infected with HPV. This needle has an outer layer designed to minimize direct contact and contamination. However, HPV's remarkable infectivity mentioned above raises concerns again. Even the smallest exposure, such as what might occur if HPV is present inside the needle used in egg retrieval, could pose a significant risk of transmission. In the end, it is worth mentioning the systematic review based on 51 studies challenges the notion that HPV transmission is exclusively sexual. These findings suggest that HPV can be transmitted in ways other than sex, highlighting the need for healthcare policies to reassess the risks. Remember, staying informed and asking the right questions is key to making empowered decisions in your healthcare journey.